Hello, this is David. Um, I know people have been praying for me. I know my friends and my family have been praying for me. Um, and I, I've been looking at my life. I've been looking at my life the last month, especially the last week. The last couple of days and I don't mean to be a prophet of doom and gloom because you know what <clears throat> the real true side of God that I want to know is joyous and happy and life on earth for me is meant to be loved and celebrated to be smiling to be laughing, to be sharing my life with people in the world. I, I wasn't happy before this day. And uh, the reason I wasn't happy is because I've been alone. I've been alone in my, in, in my world. My world is a lonely world. I don't have a lot of friends. And I don't have a lot of friends because I was, I wanted to be alone. I didn't want people to see me the way I am or have been, which truly I've been miserable and I've been miserable for so long. There's a saying that I disagree with my last girlfriend in Houston kept saying to me, I never believed her. Misery loves company. No, it doesn't. Misery, miserable people, people who make other people miserable. And the last thing I want to do is make anybody feel that way because I felt that way my whole life and I don't want to feel it anymore. Is uh, well, Let's look at the word miserable. It's made of two words. Miser you know what a miser is? I'll tell you what a miser is. I'm looking at myself. I should be looking at the camera, but I think my hair looks good today. I'm going to let it grow out. I'm going to let my beard grow out. I look good when I'm, when I'm, and I'm, I'm going to go for a walk. I look good when I'm thin, when my beard is grown out, when my hair is grown out, I'm going to dye it. Strawberry blonde. Uh, <laughs> I remember when I did in 2015, I'm not bragging, it drove women crazy. They just, oh, Dave, can we touch your hair? I want to touch your hair. Your hair is so pretty. Your hair is so beautiful. I I had to laugh uh, yesterday. I had to laugh today. I want you all to check it out. It's called uh, Funny Local News. It's on YouTube. And I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed, and that's why if I, if I have a smile on my face today, because the Lord showed me, I, I've been miserable, but I'm not a miser, I'm not selfish, I'm not greedy, I never got the love for that, I never got the love back that never returned to me, Father. The love that I gave and there's new people out there that uh, you have for me to know to meet to love to share with to care for and I I know this because you just told me and I want you guys to see my hair I'm not bold at all and this is this is short for me um, I'm, I'm going to be 51 in a couple weeks, um, and it's going to be the best birthday I've had in decades because now God is with me, and I'm happy, and I got to laugh last night, and I got to laugh today. I, I've had suffered with insomnia, you guys, for 15 years, and I've, I've suffered because of the torment in my life that I think I know, I'm, I'm confessing. The torment I've known I've done to myself because I didn't feel that I was worthy to be with anybody. I didn't want 
to this day, Father, for anybody to see me the way I was because I wasn't happy. I was angry. I was really, I was in those last few videos and I apologize to whoever's seen it and I ask your forgiveness. I'm not angry at you. I don't hate you. I hate what I've had to go through. I'm angry at what, I've been angry at what I had to go through. I'm repenting of my anger. I am repenting of my fear. I am repenting. Father God, I want to know with you and in you and through you and with other people. I don't want to be alone anymore. I have been alone my whole life. And being alone is really hard for me. It's been, you know, and I, the friends that I've had in my life, the, the women friends, the male friends, they've all been lonely like me. They've all been miserable. And that was the energy that was in me. And that's what came to me were lonely, angry, miserable people. Well, I, I have to change or I'm going to die. I'll die that cruel vain death that I spoke of in the poem, not I, not I. Well, Lord, I, I'm here and I, I, I watch some funny, funny local news. They have, they have bloopers, hilarious things you've never seen before on, on TV. YouTube has hours of it, hours of it, hours. They have they have sexy bloopers, and I love people. I really do. Not to contradict myself, I love you. I love you because, well, I love you because Jesus in me loves you. But I, I've always loved people. I've always cared for people, and my apologies to anyone that I may have offended. Hold on. Because God reminded me, son, he reminded me, brothers and sisters, uh, am I even recording? Yeah, I am. Didn't know if I was recording. I get, I get lost a lot. I get lost a lot in my torment and my pain, and I've been hurting myself. I've been hurting myself. I've done this to myself, and I did it to myself. And I'm talking to the lonely people in the world, and I'm talking to the angry people, and I'm talking to the miserable people, but I'm talking to people that aren't angry as well. I'm talking to everybody today, and I'm confessing in my heart, I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be miserable anymore. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be angry. I don't want anyone to think I'm a monster because I, I talk about the truth, which is in Christ. He does love us. He loves us all. And I, I just want you all to know that love. That's why I get so passionate. That's why, that's why I get so fiery because I care about you. And I want you to know the love of God within you who is Christ Jesus before it's too late. When is it too late? It's too late right now. Um, and it's too late right now because you don't know, brother. You really don't. Don't don't tell me you think you do. And I say brother, I mean brother and sister in, in, in the world in Christ. It's only too late if you go to the grave without ever confessing your need for the Lord and his love for you. When you can come, and I have to say this, when you can come to the Lord and surrender, like I had to re-surrender. I'm constantly, the work of surrender, my God, is is perpetual. It never ends. And yesterday, I'm, I'm telling you all, I had to confess. I had to surrender my misery, which I caused myself. Because the Lord told me that I was worthy 18 years ago. Face to face, he told me. I talked about that vision experience with him, uh, with you, Lord, in earlier videos. If you want to know what I'm talking about, check out my earlier videos. But I warn you. I was angry, I was hurt, I was broken. I'm still angry, I'm still hurt, I'm still broken. I'm not completely cured, because every time I seek to do well, and it applies to you too, every time we seek to do well in the Lord, guess who's right there? He is, you know. Could it be Satan? Yeah. As I think of the church lady on Saturday night, it is Satan. I, I'm trying to be cool. I'm trying to be cool. My brother Mike once told me, he said, David, 
you always got to be cool. For real. And it's hard to be cool when the devil is on you and he send demonic assassins to take your life which he's done to me, and which he's done to you, and you're still here, and I'm still here, and this is what I really want to talk about, the grace of God who, who is for us all. We're here today, every one of us are living and breathing, our heart is beating, we have breath, we breathe, we are alive because of who, it's not because of Satan, it's because of Jesus Christ and his love, it's because of God, oh My sweet Jesus loves you. And he's love he loves me. He loves us all. He loved me. I was in so much pain in the last couple of days. I was so angry at that. Lord, I was just gonna lose all my shit. And I do. I lose it every time. And I try not to break down. I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital there for a little bit. And the Lord said, No, just be with me. Just turn to me and I turn to you, Lord. And I'm glad I did. I can smile. And I may not look like I'm smiling. I'm trying. I'm not trying to smile. He said, just be who you are. When I was a little boy, I got to switch up hands. I mount my camera on a table knife. Honestly, Father, I'm as happy as I can be right now. I'm not, I'm not trying to be fake. I am earnest, though, for the people in the world that I love, that you've given me to love. I love them, Lord. I love them all, and I pray for them, Lord Jesus, in your name, that you bring back your love into their heart, that, you, that they receive and believe and trust, Father God, in your love. I don't know what to call this video, but I knew I had to lighten up because if I didn't, I was going to lose it. And like I said, the devil was there. He's been in my whole life. He's been there. But particularly because God is using me. And I'll tell you what I know about the devil, folks. He hates you. But more than he hates you, he fears you. He fears you because you are made in the image and the purpose and the express will of God himself. And more than he is your enemy. <sighs> Jesus Christ is with you, and he loves you, and he sends his angels. To, what does he do? What does he do? The Lord sends his angels to protect us. I want you to see that I have hair. I'm 51. Thank you that I still have hair. i always worried about going bald, and, you know, men associate hair with vitality and strength. And I'm going to let my hair grow out. I'm going to go full-on hippie. I'm going to let my beard grow out. Y'all think I'm drifting. No, I'm just free thinking and free talking. I'm being myself. Being myself. <laughs> There's a movie I want you all to see called... I'm not going to lean back. You can see how fat my chin is. Ugh. I'll lose the weight. I'm going to go for a walk after this. He loves you, brother, sister. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loved me. I was going to kill myself, but he loved me, and I realized I couldn't forsake, and I ask of you, Lord, what you've done for me, you do for whoever sees this and whoever doesn't. I believe in the power of who you are, Father God, and because I believe, I will, I will receive, and what I receive is my Lord and my King of glory who stretch out and reach and touch the heart of every human being, whether they believe or not, and it comes into the world believing we're all born enemies of the cross, but you say, Lord, to love your enemies. Now, I don't consider you all to be my enemies today. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. I'm not unforgiving. I'm happy. This is, I can laugh. I can laugh. I can laugh. I really can. And last night, <laughs> I laughed harder than I've ever laughed in my life. I was watching the, the, the funny local news, FNL. It's on YouTube. And there was this huge snowstorm, and there was a reporter, and this guy, he was dressed in this, like, monster costume. It was hilarious. It wasn't scary. It was the funniest thing I ever laughed. I laughed, never laughed so hard in my life. And I knew, I knew right then and there, I wish I could show you the clip. 
I I don't want to because of YouTube copyright copyright. It's just bogus. But just check out funny local news on YouTube. You'll see what I'm saying. People are funny. People are hilarious, and and people are life and loving and laughing is life. Life is laughter. That's the life that he's been trying to show me. You've been trying to show me to laugh. To, I can laugh at, at my enemy. I'm victorious in my faith, and y'all, you're you've come from Houston. Y'all are victorious in your faith too, and you can laugh, laugh. That's what he told me. Life is laughter. Life is joy. Life is fun especially when Christ Jesus is in the middle of it, and that's what he wants for me to know, and he wants y'all to know. You can have all the joy in the world you want in Christ Jesus, more joy than you've had without him. And I haven't had a lot of joy in my heart, even though Christ was with me, because I felt like I was obligated to find out what this sin was. I gave 45 years of my life to understand sin. I gave 45 years of my life to understand hatred, really, that's what I did. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. I, and I was alone most of my life. I remember one time I was at a, at a, I was at a library in California, and I, like now and like before, I've been alone. I haven't made love to a woman since 2000. I gave it up because I felt so sad and empty and lonely, and I said, you know, I'm going to save myself, and I have till now. God is willing, I will I'll still save myself for the next woman that God has for me. Well, I didn't. I don't know if I got women that God had for me in the in the last 18 years. You know, if somebody comes into my life, I have to believe. I have to trust. God put that woman in my life for a reason, and He did. And I don't hate these women. I lo I still love them. When I love somebody, I love them for life. They they didn't want what I had to give, and I know why because I I'm so intense. But Lord, I have to believe I have to trust somewhere out there in the world. There's a woman who would love my intensity, you know, who would love that I, I could be a total freak. I know it. I know I scare people off because I get so serious. But if you have understood what I've been through, you'd be this. You'd be serious too. You'd be angry, you'd be alone, you'd be bitter, you'd be enraged because you never got the love you sought. Well, see, God performed a miracle for me last night. For real, he, he did, Lord. You told me to, to, to lighten up, to lighten up. To, what I had to do, essentially, Lord, was to surrender my burden, surrender the weight of, of, of what I felt is true guilt and shame. And I was guilty because I didn't listen. I suffered because, Lord, I didn't listen to you, and I'm listening to you now. And you say, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, he said to me. Surrender to me your hatred. Yeah, there's hatred and anger and lust and bitterness and all kinds of things. We all have it. We all have these sins in our lives. And I wanted to erase all of my prior videos, and I said to you, Lord, I said, I'm done. And you said to me, son... My work for you isn't finished. You're not going to give up. I'm not going to let you give up. You're, you're going to persevere. He said, I'm going to persevere in, your, in my faith. He said, you're going to use me. People need to see the real you. And you've seen the real me. And it's who I am in my heart when I'm lonely. In, the, in my loneliest state. When I'm angry and hurt and bitter and enraged. Enraged at what I've suffered. More than anything anybody has done to me, it's what he's done to me, the enemy of life. And yeah, for real, Satan, Lucifer, who is the spirit of error and iniquity. Satan, Lucifer, is a coward. He, he hurts you. He hates you. He comes to you in your sleep. He sends demonic presence upon you when you're, when you're asleep. And when you're asleep, you're vulnerable. And he causes you fear. He sits on top of your chest. He has my talking about sleep paralysis and it's like being you ra know it's not like being raped it is being raped by evil sleep paralysis is is, is horrible it's not I'm gonna say weird no it's not weird it's a living nightmare and the only way that I found and I, I convey this to all of you who have suffered sleep paralysis I've been asleep most of my life because I've been dead to listening to hearing the word of God 
And if you're there and you're suffering and you're suffering sleep paralysis and Satan is tormenting you, I guarantee he is. If you don't feel it, it's because you become numb to it. I'm talking about my own experience. I became numb to it. I became dead to it. I couldn't hear God. I couldn't see God. I couldn't feel God. I, I, was, I was in darkness. Darkness had overcome me and broke my heart and destroyed me and gave me, gave, I wanted to give up. I had lost the will to even live. I've been like that for 45 years. I say this for those who need it as an explanation. Why are you so serious, David? Well, because I was, and I still am, but I'm not angry and I'm not upset. He took, he took the, the anger from me, Lord. He took, he, he took the bitterness, he took the rage, he took the guilt, he took the shame. And when you said lighten up, you mean lighten up. And, and I did, and I laughed, and I looked at some funny stuff on Netflix, uh, comedians. Uh, I needed to laugh. Laughter is life. And I get so burdened, I get so heavy. I'm, I'm, I'm spinning on my chair. I get so heavy laden. I forget to laugh. I forget to smile. I don't want I don't want my smile to seem fake. I don't want my smile to be a lie because all my life I've looked at people that appeared to be happy, laughing, smiling, but what I felt and saw in them Lord was evil. Well, I'm getting hungry. And that evil hurt me, and I and I and I knew they were lying to me. The devil's that way; he'll smile at you. He will smile at you. He will tell you that you you need a friend, right? Because you're alone, because you've been abused, because you've been hurt. Well, guess what? He wants to be your friend so he can destroy you, so he can kill you. I'm just telling it like I know it to be. This is the way it is. The devil is not your friend. Uh, uh, there's a song by the Grateful Dead called Friend of the Devil. I love the Grateful Dead, but I hate that song. And, and I hate when people use your name in vain. I hate when people say, you know what I'm talking about. Or, or they just cry out, Jesus Christ! You know, when I cry out the name of Jesus Christ, it's because, like I was when I was in sleep paralysis, I'm good on time here, only 22 minutes. I, uh, it's because I'm afraid. And I'm afraid because I'm being attacked by Satan and his assassins. He has demon assassins assigned to everybody. You, you, trust me, there's a demon assigned to you, whispering, whispering, whispering in your ear. I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I'm in pain. It hurts. Nobody, and this is what I've heard my whole life, and I don't believe it anymore. Don't believe a single word. When you, you hear that, when you feel that familiar spirit, the Lord tells me to say, it is a lie. And the point of the lie is to enslave you, to put you in chains, to destroy you, to take from you your will to live. Everything the devil tells you is to take from you your will to live. What did I say life is? Life is loving, laughing. Yeah, we have cares, but we have entrusted our cares to Jesus Christ. So we're free now. We're free now. I'm free now because Jesus loves me and I know it and I'm happy. Even though I don't have a girlfriend, God knows I want one. I need a girlfriend really badly. I need a girlfriend. I need a woman in the life in life that I can love and laugh with and play with and, and joy with and, and share my faith and sing praise to God with. I want a good woman now. I want a godly woman. I've had dark women. All the women you've sent to my life, Lord, I don't give the devil any credit. I never again will I refer to the devil, I repent, as giving me anything. He never gave me nothing. He never gave me nothing but heartbreak and you, you know the rest. <sighs> I just want to say, fuck him, fuck Satan. And I mean, I curse him. I curse his name. I curse his lie. I curse his power. I curse his voice. I curse his demonic angels who sat upon my chest, taking my breath from me, scaring the living life out of me. And 
I heard from it, and it happened for years. I suffered in sleep paralysis. Every time I was there, I was asleep. I was paralyzed. I was conscious, but my body was paralyzed. I couldn't move. I suffered, and I was terrified. I was being raped in the spirit by the demonic presence. And the only thing, Lord, that saved me was to cry out your name. And if you're crying out the name earnestly of Jesus Christ, and you're doing it because you fear for your life, you're fearing for your life because your life is in danger, as my life was in danger. We're all in a world of danger. We're all hurting. And the Lord, I'm reminded of a poem I haven't shared Where's my coffee? Called Rest in Me. Smile, David. Jesus loves you. That's the biggest smile I can do right there. Oh, wait. Here's a bigger one. He loves me. Oh, he loves me. He loves you. Life is about love and joy and peace. And the only joy and peace and love and laughter I've known, I've known in Christ Jesus. And the Lord says, take it easy, David. Take it easy. Take it easier. Be, my mom said to me, she says, you're too hard on yourself. You've always been too hard on all my friends in high school. You're so serious, David. Why are you so serious? I could never tell. I didn't have the words to tell because I was like that my whole life. My mouth was covered. My mouth was covered by guilt and shame. I was in bonds. I was in chains. I was suffering. I was suffering. I was suffering. I've always been suffering. And now I don't have to suffer anymore because I'm covered. He has my back. My God has my back in Jesus. He has my front. He has my side. He has my top. He has my bottom. I am enveloped. Father, God, thank you. Ooh, it feels good. My head. Oh. I'm being touched by the Lord now. Peace. Peace I give to you. Love I give to you, says my Lord. My Father, I give you joy. I give you love. I give you peace. I give you rest in my name. My beloved, you are in my child. You are my child. And I am in you. And I am for you. And I am with you. And no weapon prevail. No weapon formed against you in my name, says the Lord, shall ever prevail against you. No one shall harm you. No one shall hurt you. No one shall come against you. I have angels with you, David. They love you as I love you. They are here to protect you, to keep you, to, to, to cause you no harm, to dress you in the beauty of my love, my beloved child. I love you. And Lord, I just say thank you for every day. Thank you for every breath. Thank you for every beating of my heart. It is in your love and your grace and your glory that you now smile. You now smile upon me, Lord. I am in the S-O-N shine, the sunshine of your smile that I have not been in since I was a child. I have always been your child. I may be an adult on the earth that is 50 years old, but I am still, you're returning to me the joy that I had when I was a boy. I woke up every day. Can I share, Lord? Yes, my son. I woke up every day, brothers and sisters, from the ages of three to five, excuse me, <coughs> in the sunshine of my father's smile. He was with me as he is now, day and night, every breath, every beating of my heart. I knew my father's smile upon me. I know my father's smile upon me. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. I'm not angry at anyone. I have no lust, no hatred. I know now again. The 
truth and beauty of my Father's love lives in me now. Today in my breath and in the beating of my heart, my Father, he has his hand upon my heart and his hand upon my head, and I sit with him in love. I sit with you in love. Father, I sit with you in the glory upon your throne. I know and see through your eyes now. Oh, God, thank you. It's been decades seeing, loving, being, smiling, laughing through my Father's heart, and through his eyes I see all that he gives me to see. I see, I know, I know his truth. I am in my Father's will. I am in my Father's love. I am in my Father's joy and peace. God give me, God is giving me the words to say. And I have nothing but love for you, Father God. I have nothing but gratefulness, gratitude that you took me through the greatest trial of my life. You said to me yesterday, because I felt so ashamed, I said, I can't come to you. No, that's not true. That was the enemy. That was my own lie telling me, because we're not supposed to be condemned. We're not supposed to live a life of, of hurt and pain. Paul and all of his suffering still had joy. Look at the letters, and God says to me, look at the letters of Paul in the New Testament and read them and live and breathe, my brother, he says. My God says, he calls me brother. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? When you're in God, you are his father. You, I mean, you, you are his brother in Christ. God considers you his child, you are his family. But the Lord says, if anyone come after me, he must forsake himself. He must take up his cross and follow me. You must love him first. I, the Lord said, love me first and I'll give you the joy that you've been missing. I'll give you the peace that you, you've forgotten in myself. And I have what I have today because of Christ in me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't procure anything for myself. I didn't support myself. I, I can't. I'm on the, the life support. Jesus Christ is my medicine. And he gives me every breath. And he gives me every beating of my heart. And he's given me his angels that are with me now. I don't see them with my eyes. But I feel them in the spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your angel army. That protects us all against the wiles of the devil. That defeats and destroys the work of Satan and every human being. Lord, all that love you, you love. All that, that seek you, you you give them yourself man i i feel like i'm drifting i'm not i'm just being carried in the spirit the voices in my head are gone the voices of error the voices of hatred the voices of rage and disgust and shame and guilt and anger that were upon me in the last couple of days but especially yesterday oh i was in so much pain and i i felt I'm being too judgmental. I'm pointing my finger. I'm not going to point my finger at anybody today. At people, how angry I was at the church of Jesus Christ. They're my family. The Lord, the devil cursed me to hate my brethren. I, he did. He, Don't go to church. And yeah, I'm trying to quit smoking. I remember one time I quit for five days. And I heard this forceful, commanding, powerful voice that shook me to the core and it was the devil smoke he said to me and this energy this this terrible dark energy shuddered through my being and i'm like oh my god i gotta have a cigarette i gotta have a cigarette i need a cigarette you know a cigarette is just a pause you know, we're all fighting battles. We're all fighting battles. You don't have to be in the army. You are in, the, you don't have to be in the, like I'm a veteran. I love Jesus. I serve my country and I served it proudly. It was some of the, the second best work I ever had. I'm in another army. And so are you in Christ Jesus here. You are supposed to be, he says to me. He told me we are the ambassador of Christ. We are children of God. We are light keepers we are god's children christ in us is our strength and our shield he is he's the one in the spirit who gives us the power the ability to fight in the spirit uh, our war i need this to be understood by all of you is not against people and he told me because i felt so much hatred the last few days because the devil was hurting me he always says to me hate 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 
hate, judge, 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 condemn, 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 blame, blame, blame. He always wants blood, blood, blood. He wants the shedding of blood. Look at the world and the chaos of it is. There's so much war. There's so much strife. There's so much greed and, and hatred and pestilence and disease because very wealthy, very powerful, mighty men that, that, that really own the world, they're not, they're given, what they've been given, you know, they believe in Lucifer and Satan. Well, they're condemned and they're going to die forever for it. I don't care if you're the richest man in the world or you're the, the poor. I'm the poorest man in the world. Jesus, I need Jesus. I need Jesus. I need Jesus. So do you. And Jesus is my smile in my heart. Jesus is my love. Jesus is my all. Jesus is my everything, brother and sister. He's my everything. And I love him. And because I love him, I love you. I'm running out of time. I love you all, brother and sister. He's my reason to smile. And I can smile at other people in the world like funny news anchors. And I can laugh. I don't have to take everything so serious. I'm reminded of that movie by Batman. And the Joker says, why are you so serious? But the Joker is in pain. Every villain is in pain. They don't have the rest of Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what, you go from a villain to a hero and Jesus Christ comes into your life. He's our hero. He's our superhero. He's our superpower. I've run out of time. I love you all. I'm going to go for a walk. Get something to eat. Bye-bye. I love you in the Lord. He loves you. Just surrender, and he will give you the peace and joy in your heart and the love that you've always sought. That's all I have to say. Take care. Bye-bye.